The Buffalo Sabres, currently holding the longest active playoff drought in the NHL since their last appearance in the 2010-11 season, are tied with the New York Jets for the longest active playoff drought across MLB, NBA, NFL, and NHL. In an exciting turn of events, I firmly believe that this season will mark the Buffalo Sabres' return to the NHL playoffs, and not only that, they will emerge as the champions of the Atlantic Division. The Sabres showcased some remarkable performances during the previous season. Center Tage Thompson demonstrated his scoring prowess by netting an impressive 46 goals. Center Dylan Cousins emerged as a reliable playmaker with 31 goals and 68 points to his name. Defenseman Rasmus Dahlin achieved a career-high 72 points, solidifying his importance to the team. Additionally, rookie defenseman Owen Power, who was the first overall pick in the 2021 NHL draft, had a stellar debut season. Goalie Devin Levi, another rookie, played a pivotal role in Buffalo's playoff push, which unfortunately fell just short. The Buffalo Sabres are rising from the ashes of the Jack Eichel era. As you may know, Eichel recently secured a Stanley Cup victory with the Vegas team. The situation between Eichel and the Sabres had become untenable, and ultimately, the trade benefited both parties involved. To strengthen their roster, Sabres GM Kevin Adams should focus on acquiring another top four defenseman and possibly another goalie to complement Levi. Levi showcased his potential by winning five games, and he was the only Sabres goalie to maintain a goals against average below 3.00 after joining the team last March from Northeastern University. It's worth noting that the Sabres possess an abundance of prospects and still retain all of their draft picks. While Adams has made a few additions in free agency, such as veteran defenseman Eric Johnson, who brings experience to a third-pair role, and Connor Clifton, who isn't a bona fide top-four defenseman. It remains to be seen if these additions will significantly upgrade the team. Looking at the Atlantic Division, the Buffalo Sabres are on an upward trajectory while some of the other teams could potentially decline. The Tampa Bay Lightning, who were dominant during their Stanley Cup winning years, have experienced losses due to salary cap constraints with key players like Steven Stamkos and Victor Hedman now in their early 30s. The Boston Bruins had an exceptional regular season with a record-breaking 65 wins and 135 points but faltered in the NHL playoffs. They face significant salary cap issues and have lost several players from their roster. The future of Patrice Bergeron with the Bruins is also uncertain. The Florida Panthers barely made the playoffs last season and suffered defeat in the Cup Finals against Vegas. Starting the upcoming season with defensemen Brandon Montour and Aaron Ekblad likely on injured reserve and Rodko Gudas moving on, Florida's already thin blue line has become even thinner. In conclusion, based on the current landscape of the Atlantic Division, I predict that the Buffalo Sabres will make the playoffs and potentially win the division. However, the competition will undoubtedly be fierce, and it will be fascinating to see how the season unfolds. Make sure to leave your thoughts and predictions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video.